What's up, good people? It's your boy DJ the Park Boy. We're in the building, and welcome to a new episode of Jays and Jumpers on the Next Step Network. And today we're here to talk about a coach that I believe is on the hot seat, and his name is Brian Flores. And I'm not saying this to take it lightly. There have been reports coming out that uh, players consider playing in Miami right now toxic. There are also reports that he's lost the locker room. And there's been a lot of quarterback drama with Tua and him. So is it possible for him to reconcile? I don't know. From the reports, they say that uh, he's unapproachable and he lacks flexibility with his players. And, again, we've seen Bill Belichick uh, branches from his tree come out, and they don't perform to the same level as him. They try to have the same demeanor, and it just doesn't work. Like, there's only one Bill Belichick. Not everybody can be so so abrasive, so crass, and things like that. You can't do that, especially with grown men. You know what I'm saying? They want some respect. Everybody wants respect. And apparently, Flores isn't giving it down to Miami. Right now, they're on a six-game losing streak. So that's not helping this case. I mean, last year they overperformed, and this year's looking like they're going to underperform because expectations were a little high. His first year in Miami, 2019 season, he went 5-11, and which was expected. People expected them not to play as good, but they played above what they were. And then you go to uh, last year, they ended up going 10-6. and They played pretty good football. But, I mean, the complaints weren't coming out there as much. But now that they've lost six in a row and it's looking like the playoffs are a far gone conclusion, we're hearing all the rumblings coming out the locker room. And, again, it's easier to be abrasive and to be more of a harder coach if you're winning football games. But if you're losing football games, none of that's going to fly. None of it's going to fly. Do I think Brian Flores deserves to be on that high seat? Yes. Uh, one to five, he's definitely five right now, and the five's the highest. His seat is very, 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 very warm. And Miami right now looking like they could be possible sellers at the trade deadline. And if they end up selling at the trade deadline, I, I don't think it's going to save them any grace, even if you give them more talent. Like, it's not going to help you in this situation. Not. Nah. Uh, Miami's already looking like they have a talent deficit compared to the Bills in their division. New England's playing better than them. I mean, uh, the Jets are the Jets, of course. But I don't know what to say for Brian Flores. I mean, as a coach, again, he had them playing hard early on, but losing shows the environment you have. And right now, it's not looking good. According to sources, it seems pretty toxic. So on that note, I probably believe that Brian Flores may be coaching his last season in Miami if the season continues to go the way that it's going. If he can't fix his relationship with Tua, if he can't regain uh, respect inside the locker room, it's definitely going to be over. You can't lose the locker room and expect to be a good coach. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Do I think this will be his last go-around? No, he Brian Flores is a young, uh, I say talented guy. He he got a stamp of approval from Bill Belichick, which goes a long way within the NFL. So I believe maybe he'll get another shot. Uh, it's going to take a little while. It's going to take a while. He's going to have to go someplace and coach some guys up. Or, yeah, it, right now it's falling on him. You can't act like Bill Belichick expecting to get the same outcome as Bill Belichick because there's only one Bill Belichick. That's just word of advice from anybody who's going to continue to come out of New England because y'all come out with this uh, militant-type mindset and doesn't seem to be working when it, Bill Belichick's not the head of the uh, the military. You hit me. So uh, this is just another quick drop-in. Make sure you go check out other content on the Next Up Network, the other videos from Jason Jumper, Smoke Break, uh, The Lime Show, other content coming soon. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. I appreciate that greatly. It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, and I'm out. It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. 
That's right. And if you use promo code Floss1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code Floss1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.